my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to a new video. Today I will be giving you some winter recommendations. So I've got seven different books here that I would like to talk to you about that I think if you haven't read them you might enjoy reading them this winter season. So the first one that I'm going to talk about I read during the fall season and I think it works really well for both fall and winter and that is Red Wolf and this is by Rachel Vincent. This is a Little Red Riding Hood retelling where our Little Red character is actually a werewolf and it's her duty to protect the town that she is in. I think this is perfect for the winter because it is cold, it's in a foresty area, it's a fairy tale retelling which I think are always great for winter and it's just got that cozy feeling throughout the entire book like the atmosphere the vibes the coziness it's wonderful also like like I said it takes place in the woods and the cover is so light it kind of makes me think of like snowy woods so I loved reading it in fall but I also think this would be a beautiful book to read in the winter the next retelling that I have here, I think retellings and fairy tales are really cozy and perfect for winter because it's familiar, but it's still something kind of new and it's nice to cozy up with. So I will be suggesting Conceal Don't Feel. This is by Jen Kalanita and this is one of the Disney Twisted Tales books. So I read this one last year and I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. I very much enjoyed it. It has the prompt, what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? So it's the idea that they start off being raised separately after the incident. Uh, they actually separate the two sisters to make sure that nothing happens again. And it is their wintry journey of finding each other and, you know, going on their adventure. So... Again, I think it's pretty clear why this fits winter. I mean, it's frozen, so it's all about Elsa's powers of snow and ice and taking place in cold times, but also like coming together with family. I would recommend this one. Now, I have a quite I have quite a few historical fiction recommendations. Uh, for some reason, I think historical fiction is a great genre re to read during winter especially World War II historical fiction, but not all of these are World War II historical fiction recommendations. But those tend to, I don't know, take place in cold climates. Like, so they, I feel like they would work. But I have, my first historical fiction recommendation actually is, takes place in Russia. So this is the Winter Palace and this is by Ava Stachniak. And this it's perfect for winter. It literally has winter in the title. So we are following Barbara or Varvara, depending on if you're Russian or Polish. Um, but this takes place in Russia with a Polish main character, hence the confusion of the names. But don't worry, it's explained. Um, and she works for Catherine the Great at the Winter Palace. So all of her parts are during the winter season in Russia where it's freezing cold, lots of snow, and it's a Catherine the Great novel. Like, it's a great one to cozy up to. I loved reading this two winters ago, I think. So cozy, so interesting. Oh my goodness. This next one is a historical fiction that is technically the second in a series. That's Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. I think if you know of this series so it's a good spooky season series but this one takes place in Romania and I just remember like the weather being cold but the castle that she's in being like warm and like inviting so it has it has wintry vibes you would need to read the first one stalking Jack the Ripper first to be introduced to the characters but this still has its own plot with it. So theoretically, I think you wouldn't have to read the first one, but it definitely hints at a couple things that were started in the first one. But if you've read the first one, I think now would be a great time to pick up 
the second one, this one, because of the wintry vibes. Now the final historical fiction that I have to recommend is one that I just finished reading and I really enjoyed. And it is a World War II historical fiction, and that is The Prisoner's Wife, and this is by Maggie Brooks. So this book follows a Czech farm girl who her family receives a bunch of English soldiers to come help work on their farmland as part of their like labor for being in a camp, and she ends up falling for one of them, and they decide to get married in secret and run away. However, in order to protect her, they dress her up like a mute man so that she doesn't have to go through the hardships of running away as a woman and if they get caught and put in a camp they don't have to be separated. This was such a cute story. I loved the characters and the fire that each of them has. Like I said it is World War II. Majority of it takes place in like really cold weather which gave me like the cold cozy vibes but oh it's it was a really good book. I very much enjoyed it, and so if it sounds interesting to you, I think now would be a great time to pick it up. All right, I've got two more books to recommend to you, and they kind of don't really fit into a category together. One is romance, and the other has like a romance subplot, but it's mostly fantasy. So the romance that I would suggest is Shiver by Maggie Stife Vader. And this is a shapeshifter romance. So she, the, our main character sees this wolf in her backyard and she kind of gets this weird attachment to it and then that wolf ends up being a boy and it's their romance. I actually read this entire series right alongside Twilight and it was so similar but without the vampires. Like it was like as if Jacob, Jacob and Bella were the main couple the entire time and there was no Edward kind of like that um, except the first book takes place in winter and again it's very woodsy and it's got woods on the cover um, so if you need a romance to pick up this winter I would suggest Shiver. The final book that I have to recommend again is another recent reads for me and I think it's perfect for adjusting into winter or even reading at the end of winter not a Seasons of the Storm this is by El Cosimano this follows our main character, Jack, as well as another character named Fleur. Jack is the human personification of Winter himself. So he gets released at the end of Autumn, and it's his job to kill the personification of Autumn. And then when Winter is over, it is Fleur's job, who is the personification of Spring, to then kill Jack. However, there's a problem because uh, Jack and Fleur... They kind of like each other. And so they can't keep doing this cycle of kill, live, be killed, regenerate, and not be together. So they decide to grab a few friends and break out of Kronos' system and to live their life in the real world. There are plenty other personifications of the season, so like, they won't be missed. Uh, but because our main characters are winter and spring, there are definitely lots of cold, chilly vibes, and a lot of it happens during winter because those are main characters, so it makes sense. Um, and I thought this was just such a chilling book to read. So those are all the books that I have to recommend to you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, click the subscribe button down below as I am posting four videos through the month of December. Otherwise, I normally post on a Sunday, Wednesday schedule. So if you want to subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when those videos go up. Otherwise, I have bookish social media down below in the description as well. And there you can follow me be friends with me, we can give each other recommendations, we can just see what each other's reading, have a good time. Otherwise, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video, but until then, I wish you happy reading.